Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode of Lands of Zankar with me Mangamed. I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're all doing safe and I hope the social isolation and all that rubbish isn't getting to you too much still because it's really getting tiring now. I understand it needs to be done but my god it's a pain. Anyway, uh, we are in this mass. Why are we in this mass and not at our mountain? Well, there's a very good reason for that. This over here is a stopgap measure that I've had to basically you employ to start sticking stuff like all the extra terracotta I've got and all the extra stone I've got and I think there's cobblestone up there uh, basically because the smas is full for those particular items I've got um, a, well cobblestone not so much but I have had to resort to using some cobble uh, some shulkers to start putting cobblestone in and it kind of seems like a bit of a waste for me so what I'm going to do what I need to do is uh, build like a storage silo or have some form of big bulk storage I haven't really got the room um, down in the smash I mean I've got the room I could always make a bigger room but it would mean quite a drastic alteration to the um, to the actual sort of hopper lines and and everything else so um, I was basically having a think and originally I was going to build one like here on this platform here this is what I've plotted out this is sort of um, this was kind of the idea I had to build one and then I'm I'm not 100% sure it's big enough and it is uh, I had I did do it as a hexagon because I kind of wanted something as a different shape um, and honestly I don't think that's going to work so I did was flying around trying to figure out where to put it and what to do and then I struck on this build in here now obviously this is a fairly early on build and it's our pumpkin and melon farm or one of our two now since uh, Z very kindly came over and built this one for me uh, this one actually produces more uh, actually produces an extremely large amount of pumpkins and melons and it's kind of made this one redundant and so what i was thinking there's actually a decent amount of space in here if we actually get up the top um is quite a good amount of space in here that we could utilize so what i'm thinking is um i'm gonna rip out the inside and what i'm gonna do is when i build it um so this will have its own separate drop chest so i can come over here and i can drop stuff in and it will basically filter, you know, it will chuck all the items. So I'll have one, you know, I'll have a load, like, you know, really, really as many as I can possibly fit in of cobblestone, stone, terracotta, etc. Um, in there and like dirt and other things that, you know, so, stuff that I've got, uh, um, you know, I will be collecting. I won't be using as much, but I am, I am a hoarder. I can't, I can't throw stuff away. I really, really, really can't. So um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna modify this line here so this obviously feeds into just the the standard sort of four uh, the sort of 10 chests i think or 12 chests that we've got that have got pumpkins and melons and i'm gonna modify it so it actually um bypasses this line so this line will actually come out and what it's going to do is it's going to run around here and so I haven't quite worked out the logistics of it yet, but it's basically going to sort of come around here and somehow hook into the... What's... All right, there's obviously still stuff dying. The stuff still spawns in the mob farm. Um, so it's like occasionally you just get like this random stuff dropping through. Um, but yeah, so this is like the main input line uh, that goes into our... Um... Really? I'm, I'm talking here. Can you... Can you... You leave me alone please autographs later thank you um it's going to feed into this line here so what will happen is if and if eventually i drain the smas of the um said resource can i can i please fly away please come on what is going on here i just let me out. i've been having such really bad issues with lag and flying and all of this sort of stuff why Thank you. Uh, <laughs> sorry, having a bit of a minor moment. Um, yeah, so there's gonna. I'm gonna put toggle switches on the bottom of each of the um, lines. So what I'll do 
is if I eventually run out of, say, cobblestone, I can come in here and mm -hmm. flick a switch and it will unlock a hopper, which will then feed into that line and it will go through and it will basically... Um, to put you know send stuff basically into the smas it's not going to be a drastically fast process but i and i haven't quite worked out the logistics of it yet now it might actually be easier there's actually a the actual water f stream that feeds that line over there because the drop chest is like under here like here so there's um a water stream that goes up here and then it kind of goes across there and underneath that path and that's because that's where the point starts might actually be easier for me to just funnel it straight through and get it to drop straight into this. That actually might be better. And I could actually probably water stream it and put a double speed drop on it so it'll make it faster. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So uh, first things first, I'm going to rip all of this out in here and um, see how much space I've got and start plotting out where everything's going to go uh, and, and how I'm going to hook it up. Now, eventually, this is going to go. This isn't staying here either. Um, this I'm actually having a separate district for um, animal, uh, like animal and farming-based stuff. So that is actually going to be over here somewhere. Um, I'm gonna. Oh look, I've got pigs and sheep already. Um, so yeah, that's gonna go over there. So that's gonna move, but not for the moment. So yeah, I'm gonna crack on with getting this ripped out. And all right, guys. Now this is my bulk storage done. As you can see, it's kind of a little bit extreme. Uh, it doesn't look it from the outside. Uh, the building doesn't actually look that big, but I um, I initially uh, was gonna stick an auto sorting system around it. And then, to be honest, for a bulk storage, the auto sort would have been a little bit slow. So what I basically opted with was we having a filtering system. So they basically, uh, you chuck stuff in the top mm. chest, and it just works its way down to this chest. Now, underneath here, I am going to put a mechanism where I'm going to hook all these up to a line where they will then, um, if I want it to top up anything in my smash, I can flick a switch and it just automatically sends it over that way. So I haven't done that bit yet. I've got some stairs up the side here, and I'm basically going to floor this level, and all you will see is this and this top layer of chests here. I'll stick some signs or something up so you know what's in each uh, slice. And yeah, so like, you know, there's gonna be X amount dedicated to stone, X amount of st uh, regular stone, and you know, all the stuff that I'm gonna end up with loads of mainly terracotta. So I'm gonna crack on with that. And then hopefully um, we'll be able to show you the, uh, the the top up system and it all done. So see you in a minute. All right, guys. So this is what we've got as the uh, final thing. So as you can see here, I've replaced on the floor uh, what is going to be in each, um, in each section so obviously i've got a stone there i've got cobblestone there uh i've allocated quite a few to this terracotta and that terracotta so i've just putting stuff in as i've got an overabundance of it and just prismarine crystals over there because i had like four double chests full of it so that's over in the corner out of the way so we've got plenty of space to add things in and if we go downstairs in here um unfortunately i I was, like I said, I was going to put a system in where I could just unlock a hopper and it would send stuff off to a different um, location. And honestly, it kind of it 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 got really complicated um, the way I was trying to do it. I mean, there may be a very simple way of doing it, but the way I was looking at it didn't quite work out. So I've just decided just to leave it as is, and I'll just take it out if I need it. Um, so again, as you can see, I've just put cobblestone in the floor there. I've put stone in the floor there, terracotta in there, and it, so again, all of these can change as well. So now with that actually done, I'm actually able to head over to the um, mountain. I've also actually changed um, something over here. So I still haven't got around to like building some more efficient um sugarcane farms, but I also was starting to have an issue with uh, not having enough sticks and and stuff so i've actually converted the top section to bamboo uh, so at least i have some passive bamboo coming in it's not a massive amount but it's better than nothing um still haven't done anything with that over there and it... what the hell is that what is what is what 
hell is this thing that's appeared? Is he? Is that a pipe he's got? Is he smoking a pipe? Oh, for God's sake. Well, that's got to be Jackal, isn't it? That's got... What? Why is all this stuff? I, I go away for like a day. I haven't been on the server. Um, well, I was on it a bit yesterday. Um, I've had a lot of other things going on, so I haven't had as much time to get on this week. And I turned my back for two seconds. And this... Okay, so this is... Right. So, random... I'm guessing that's a potato? I'm going to say that's probably a potato. Um... Smoking a pipe on, on my achievement center. I don't actually mind that there, to be honest. Um, okay. I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that's a jackal thing. There's there's nothing else around here, right? That I'm missing anything? Let's <laughs> just double check that there wasn't just some random other faces just appeared. No? Okay. Right, so we obviously... Now, for those of you guys that don't know... This is uh, a dream Shizo. Uh, he, that's his emblem. That's his his banner thing that he's done. So obviously this is a gift from him. I'm not sure why. Okay. What's all this then? Look such pitch. What? So he what? I, I don't understand. Well, I don't need I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. A wall would kind of be nice, but again, don't really need it. Don't really need that either, or that, or that, or that, or those. Um, I'm not entirely sure if this is a like you pay two going ducks for the whole line or per book or what. I I don't know. I'm gonna have to speak to Dream about that. And it's getting dark. I need to go. I have a feeling I haven't been asleep for a f while. I th think there's going to be phantoms. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay. So, yeah, we'll have to ask Dream about what's going on with that box. Um, but, yeah, apart from that, that is kind of what I got done today. It's going to be a bit of... Um, not a lot happening uh, in this episode because basically, like I said, I haven't been on much this week. And, you know, the main thing I wanted to get done is the silo. And the, the main job I've got really to do is get the um, get this mountain cleared so I can get on with more of that build as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And I think we'll probably call the video there. It's probably going to be a little bit on the short side. Maybe I'm not entirely sure. Um, but if you did like the video then don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to drop a sub that would help me out a lot and don't forget to come and see me on twitch i stream minecraft on a sunday and sometimes on a saturday and we've got um hopefully minecraft dungeons coming soon so that should be interesting as well so that's me done for today guys hope you have a good one see you later bye, -bye.